Once again, John Stone here taking you through another video wire. You know, there's a lot of things happening in the world of IWAU when it centers around the heavyweight champion, net currently being Joey O'Reilly. Joey actually, he's in a predicament because he's, he's heading into Code Black in a fatal four-way match with his championship on the line. And one of the guys that's involved in that match is his best friend, A.T. Brooks. These two actually Friday night, and that we thought ended in a double countout, when actually the real ending came with a pump kick straight to the face of A.T. Brooks. There's not much I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not going to say much at all. Uh, last week I, 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 I gave my comment on, on all of my challengers, <clears throat> and then this week I wrestled A.T. Brooks. And you know he's, he's says he's you know he says he's my good friend. We seen that last week, but he couldn't let me win. No, he's he's too greedy. So he had to pull me out just to get a double count out. And then he has a nerve to tell me that I can't pin him. Well, we seen how that ended up, didn't it? My foot went completely through his head. Jimmy Carrot wasn't here. That doesn't surprise me. He's all about the glitz and the glory. All he wants are the lights. He wants to be the knight in shining armor. And Christian Rose, Christian Rose is a coward. Christian Rose is going to step in the ring with me. And he's not going to walk out. I could care less if, if AT or Carrot walks out. They're not the ones who have been a pain in my... Ugh. Tonight, I wrestled Joey O'Reilly, my best friend, my good friend, and yeah, he is. He may have questioned that before, but it's true. And tonight, as you can see, his foot did, in fact, go through my face. But that's okay. See, I'm in your head now, Joey. I'm in your head. You're scared. You're scared that I can take that championship away from you now that I've stepped my level up. I've told everybody in the locker room and everybody out there, and I've gone out there and proved that there's a new A.T. Brooks here, and I've stepped my levels up, as I just said, and I've done it. I'm going to cut to the chase. Come May 11th, if they go four-way, I'm walking away with the heavyweight championship, no matter what I have to do. And uh, as far as the night goes, Christian Rose wasn't here. I don't care. I really don't. Jimmy Carrot wasn't here. Now that, yeah, he's been, <sighs> bottom line is, Jimmy Carrot, you're a coward. You didn't show up because you knew tonight, after what you did to me, after my match with Christian, that I would literally take your head off and dump you on the back of your head. <sighs> so come May 11th, I'm walking away with that championship and everybody's respect. Fuck you, Carrot. You know, it was a couple weeks ago when Scott Parker actually took his his bitter feud he's had going on with Blake Reed and he took it up to the next level. You see, it all started over money, as such such feuds often do in this, this world and this society that we live in. Stuff starts over money. But Scott Parker decided to take it one step further when he introduced this pair of scissors right here. These are the exact scissors that Parker used to cut pieces of Blake Reed's hair just a couple of weeks ago. And he carries them around as if they're a trophy now. Well, Blake Reed issued the challenge for Code Black. Hair versus hair. The man who loses gets his head completely cut, completely shaved. Check this out. Blake Reed, we have this hair versus hair match. I've already took a chunk of your hair out. It will be my pleasure to do it again. You may have had the upper hand on me tonight, but I was not prepared. I was not told ahead of time. I know you're coming for me. I know you want to get your hands on me. I know you want to extract your revenge. 
But I am giving you this warning and this will be your final warning if you do not get it after I cut every single hair off your head to leave me alone. The next time is not going to be pretty and it's going to be a whole lot more than your hair. pretty good role here at IWAU. I am the most dominant female in this company. And on May 11th at Code Black, Scarlett, you're coming for a women's wrestling match. But I have news for you. This isn't going to be a match. This is going to be me kicking your ass. John Stone I the pitcher up. Here comes the pitch. Swing! I was never much of a baseball player in my youth, but I'll tell you one person who is associated with baseball is one guy the fans love all over this place, and that's the ultimate utility player, Tony G. Now, Tony, he's been having this ongoing rivalry with the fabulous Jason V. You know Jason V. Comes out in multicolored outfits, painted face, likes to do this. Well, Jason V, he's... He's been like a, a gnat, a bug, that's been flying around the head of Tony G. And at Code Black, these two are finally going to face off in what's known as a baseball diamond brawl. Here's the idea. All four corners of the ring will be filled with weapons. These weapons will be somehow affiliated with the wonderful game, America's favorite pastime, baseball. Still, it's not crooked, is it? Okay. Guess what? Tonight, I got, I got, I got what I wanted. Tony G. Tony G. Alex Castle, he might have kicked me in the nose. He might have kicked me in the nose. And Matt Cage took my shirt and he rubbed it all in his naughty bits. And now, yeah, yeah, now it smells like icy hot and cocoa butter. But that, that'll wash out. That'll wash out. Tony G, this is about you, and I finally got what I wanted. This is our, this is our World Series, Tony. It's, it's baseball diamond brawl. Now, I've been, they gave me these little cliff notes about what this is about, and it, basically I hear there's going to be baseball-related weaponry in each of the corners, and I'm, I'm fine with this. This is perfectly, perfectly fine with me. Because, Tony, you may think that you have, you have home field advantage, but you don't. Because, Tony, you give me couple balls and a big chunk of wood. Oh man, you will not believe what I can do with that. But you'll find out. May 11th, Code Black. You're mine, Tony. That's about do it for us, guys. You know how this goes. We want to see each and every single one of you joining us at the IWAU Arena May 11th for Code Black.